Hello traders, today we will talk about DMCI, why does the president would not like to issue permit to DMCI, what would be the effect of this news to the investors and lastly, how should we prepare for the Monday's trading day. So yesterday, Friday, uh, on the President Duterte's speech, he threatened the property developer DMCI holdings that the government will not issue permit if DMCI will not attend to the concerns of the partial collapse of its condominium building in Davao City. The said earthquake was happened last October and the president said that the Congress will launch an investigation on the damaged Ecoland building. On top of that, he said that he would seek an audit of all buildings constructed by DMCI. So please remember as an investors that any negative news or negative surprises will heavily affect the market sentiment because the market will will react based on fear and based on panic that will drive the stock prices go down. So on Monday's trading day, expect that DMCI will not perform that good, that DMCI might open gap down and DMCI might open in red and close in red so kanina as i looking on the earnings of dmci for the last five years i observed that dmci is quite not performing that good because dmci earnings is a little bit stagnant so hindi siya tumataas or nagi increase or the earnings is not having that growth or significant growth so as of now, let's look at the chart of DMCI. So as you can observe on the larger picture that DMCI is currently in a downtrend position having a lower high and lower lows. So, kamakailan lang, the DMCI price action is having a rebound from 4.8 level because of this consecutive drops dito is because about the news that the two water concessioner is now facing please remember that DMCI has a 27% stake on Maynilad so kaya medyo bumagsak siya from here to here and the stock price rebounds and breaking several resistances mga apat and breaking the MA50 so on Monday's trading day, if the news or the negative news will manifest, expect that the stock price will drop and break down from the 7 peso level and break down on the MA50 at the same time MA9 and let's just hope if the stock will hold on 6.3 level or in the MA20. If it doesn't hold, it might go back as well in 5.8 and 5.4 so as an investor or as a trader please avoid uh, catching catching stock that is falling in prices so avoid catching a falling knife ika nga nila so wait until you can see a good entry before you come in and set your target prices have your trading plan as well so if you are planning to have a bounce play setup sundin nyo lang and of course kapag bounce play setup usually kapag nag retrace yan konti lang yan and set your target prices then take profit already so that's it for now if this is your first time visiting my channel this is Harold Tan and I welcome you Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you would be updated with my latest tutorial that I upload twice per week. So God bless us all. Bye bye.